Miles, what what really hit you at the show this year? Well, I think first of all, I mean, who couldn't be impressed by that new VPI tone on deck? Oh, made the words out of my mouth. It's bottled and it's, it's amazing. Made, it's yeah. like I, I can't even grasp how it's made yet. I'm still kind of like my mind is. You know, I'm trying to wrap my mind around this process. Yeah, uh, uh, Matt from BPI uh, held the tone arm up, and I looked at it, and it's a composite uh, plastic type or ceramic plastic, whatever new age material it is, and it's feather light, and it's a unit pivot, and I would touch it, I picked it up on the turntable, and it was like it wasn't there. It's like I didn't feel anything. It's like it was like it was impossible for my mind to figure this out. And, I, and then Harry came up, and you'll see it on another video. He talks about the motor technology in that turntable. So between the, it's, I think it's called 3D as a tone arm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The 3D tone arm and this new direct drive motor on the VPI, to me, that was the hit of the show. Yeah, it definitely caught my fancy. I, well, it caught yeah. my fancy before I saw the show because I had seen it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because they, uh, VPI hosted uh, New York Audio Society meeting a couple weeks ago, so the cat was out of the bag. <laughs> and I, I kind of really liked this year, I have to say, the EAR room, the actually West Bender's room, yeah. with the yep. little Martin speakers. I mean, they did cheat a little bit with having the the huge rock uh, red point turntable, but you know the sixty five hundred dollars Martins really acquitted themselves quite well. Yeah, aren't they, it's not a cool looking speaker too because when you look at the video, you'll see it's a triangular speaker. So you have the front and then it comes right back in a triangle. It's really sharp looking. And, and Martin speakers, that's an Accuton driver, $6,500. They completely disappear in your room. I agree. That's a, that, was a, that was a very good room though. A room that I think competed with that because of the size of the speaker. And I don't, be, I don't want to be such a YG fanboy, but <laughs> I, I can't help be a fan of the Carmel's this year. The Carmel's with that gigantic solution integrated amplifier. Now we're talking apples and oranges. You're talking almost a $42,000 integrated amp with a pair of $18,000 speakers. But if you're really into the ultimate in hi-fi and you don't want to load your room up with a gigantic speaker system that dominates and, and have uh, people and you, you have no room for anything else particularly in a Manhattan apartment that to me was just magical sound. No, it definitely it caught my fancy because they had the two rooms next to each other. That's the right. Shape, that's and right. That, and that, that's right. Yeah. And I kept going back and forth yeah, me too. and I had to me say too. that the solution definitely caught me a little more. It was a little dark but you know what at a show I would take that over like you know, peeling the paint off the walls any day. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And then I, I, I'll let you. I'll let you do another one. Do, do another. One. Okay, so here's one. I'm going to give an incomplete to. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. This is one I want to hear another time. And the reason I give it an incomplete is that the room was being drowned out by a jackhammer downstairs. Oh no. And then unfortunately, there were a couple rooms at the show where the jackhammers, uh, innovative, had that problem too. Was the uh, room with the Zelotron speakers, mm -hmm. Audio Arts, and the CH it Precision Electronics, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. York Turntable. Mm -hmm. um, it has some great transparency going on there. You really could see through the recording, but unfortunately, it was kind of being lost in the background with the the noise. So it's like something I would love to hear, mm -hmm. you know, again. And now uh, I'll, I'll take that and kind of like in the same area of the hotel, but on the other side of the hotel, in a larger room, uh, was was the Rado uh, D2, D for diamond. Now these Rados are only about that tall. I came into the room and it was a little warm sounding in the room, but they play that famous track that it's a bass track that we hear it all the time. And I'll think of the name of it, of course, when the video cameras turned off. And there's this <laughs> bell that comes in on the left hand side, and I'll tell you. The bell was there in the room all by itself. It was right there in the room. I never heard a bell sound like that separate from the mix. And I went over to Lars from Rado and I said, Lars, that's the best I've ever heard that part of that recording ever sound. And he goes, Peter, there's nothing like this tweeter. There's <laughs> no tweeter made in the world like this. So I have to say, that was a major standout room for me, was the Rado room. Uh, another one that I was going to throw out was a piece of equipment, was the Mola Mola with yeah. this class D amp that Philip O'Hanlon is bringing in. It's mm -hmm. done by the guy at Phillips who eventually essentially invented the whole class D technology and it's mm -hmm. a little, little tiny amp, yep. 400 yep. watts. Yep. He had them on the, the Vivids mm -hmm. and it was producing some pretty nice sound. Mm -hmm. right? That was impressive. And I'll throw one other out and I'll let it go to you. Okay. The, going back to VPI, yeah, yeah. after the first day they ironed things out. Because mm -hmm. I was listening to it and I'm going, 
it was a little bright, it was edgy, and that was my sort of notes on the first thing I'm going, this does not sound like Jeff Joseph Pearl's speakers. I mean, mm -hmm. his speakers, if anything, are really lush sounding. Mm -hmm. And day two, they got their act together. They had a really cool setup with three channels. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the yeah, sound yeah. was just marvelous. Yeah, VAS made a custom made a, 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 a Stuart Hageman redesign of an old Harman Kardon preamp that has a center channel. So they had three channels of, of power. And uh, it, I, I'll tell you, the first day I sat down and listened, it was, uh, it was, uh, as, oh gosh, uh, the Stevie, Eddie Lawrence, what was it? My, uh, uh, it was, my um, producer over here. Uh, Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Thank you. And uh, thank you. In the room, I mean, gosh, it was great. So you know what? I'm gonna, I, I, of course, I'm gonna use a, a editorial uh, art, art artist here is uh, artistic license, Gold Show Award, BPI room. I, I gotta give it that. Yeah, and hearing three channels, kind of some of this stuff is kind of how it was actually recorded that's right, and that's intended right. to be heard. That's right. You know, someday maybe Harry will bring some of his three track tapes and he'll be able to play the tapes back. That'll be very <laughs> cool, very cool. And then I think that the showstopper to me, and again, this was not audio, and again, it, 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 it had its problems. But it was the first time I had seen the, the, the new big 4K uh, projector from Sony. And that, the, the image, Oh my gosh, I mean, there was a clip from the movie Chicago and the dance scene from the jail and the women that are dancing, I mean, you are just drawn into the stage. I mean, you can smell the sweat off their bodies. It was so realistic. I mean, it was so cool. And it was all an MBL setup. There's a new MBL dealer in New York that's doing surround sound and doing uh, home theater setups. It was aggressive. It was a, a lot of DACs all stacked on top of each other. It had, uh, I thought it was a little hot uh, in, some of the, in some of the playback and some of the movies and some of the clips they played for us. But the spatiality in the room, but it was that visual. Oh my gosh, was that visual totally cool? Yeah, it definitely blew me away. I, I know, I know, I know. So, uh, so there you have it. Um, Live BPI. from New York? Yeah, VPI was the hit. Live from New York, Miles Astor. And Peter Bruniger for AV Showrooms. Very good. Thank you very much, everybody. See you next show. Mm -hmm.